Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I painted a cornhole board. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while. Um, I just wanted to upload this short video for you guys of a time lapse of me painting a custom cornhole board. Now, I did not build this cornhole board. However, um, I am doing that now, so if anybody's interested in getting your own customized cornhole board, let me know down below, um, and you can reach out to me on Etsy as well as Instagram. Um, but this cornhole board I painted for my old neighbor. Um, he was in the Air Force, so this is an Air Force design. Um, I will talk step by step how I did it, and um, then I'll give you guys a little bit more information at the end of the video. So the first thing I had to do was get the design that I wanted. I had to print this out using a PDF form because it was so big. I had to print it out on multiple sheets of paper. Um, but I just put it all together like a puzzle and taped it. And then you can see I'm using a pencil and uh, drawing on the other side. This is the easiest way for me to trace it. And then I go around and retrace it on top, forcing the graphite from the pencil onto the top of the wood so then I go and trace everything else again with a marker if I were to do this again in the future I would just uh, retrace it with a pencil because later on you might be able to see the marker show underneath the paint so then I just use this photo as a reference photo and then paint everything to its specific color um, again I had to do a couple coats of each color because of the marker you could still see it uh, so I definitely would recommend just starting with a pencil outline and then if you want a thicker, darker outline later, then you can go over with marker. So the paint that I use for painting this cornhole board is just some classic acrylic paint that I usually use for most of my projects. Um, it doesn't have to be any outdoor paint because these will be sealed with some exterior sealant anyways. So the paint didn't have to be special. I didn't have to go and pick up specific paint. I used the colors that I had and matched them best to the photo. So as you can see, it took a little bit of time to do all the painting, especially all these specific colors, making sure nothing bled together. It took me almost eight hours to paint this whole entire thing again having to do a couple coats uh, mostly for the most vibrant colors because you could kind of still see the wood grain underneath but I just took my time to make sure each color looked good and I sometimes even had to use some painters tape to help keep the lines clean and straight as you can see I have painted the side of the cornhole boards with the corresponding color that flows down from the top. I felt like this made it look a little bit better instead of just cutting it off on the top design. And later you'll see I finish off this side with the red on the bottom and the orange on the top. Just making sure everything has a clean finish. And as you can also see where the hole of the cornhole board is, I also put the paint in there as well, just so everything looks good. Now, I didn't do it with this board because the customer did not request it, but if you want your design to pop a little bit more, you can retrace everything with a black marker to make all the different colors pop. However, that's not how this design was, so we just kept all the colors clean and meeting at the edge. And after the paint was dry and I did all my touch-ups that I needed, it's ready for use. So, that's the short time lapse that I had. I actually didn't finish the time lapse. I didn't film everything at the end. Again, the board was coated with polyurethane so that it was water resistant. And um, again, the paint I used was just regular acrylic. So I know some people use special outdoor um, paint, but because this was going to be clear coated anyways, I just used what I had on hand. Here's a photo of the finished board. It turned out really nice. I really like how it turned out. It did take me a little bit to figure out how to get the design on the board, but once I did, um, it was smooth sailing from there. So if you guys have any designs you want to see on a cornhole board, let me know down below. I actually did build my first cornhole board set. Um, and I am yet to paint that. I think I'm going to throw on the Timberwood Customs logo on there, um, just so I have my own set here at my house. But they're pretty cool to build, and customizing them is even better. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video, and I hope to see you soon here on the channel. Thanks. Bye.